Hello and welcome back to Larfen Gaming Plays Pokemon Scarlet Violet. I'm your host Larfen. In this Pokemon Scarlet Violet video guide, I show everybody all the solid starter Pokemons for your team. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more guides like this. Do not forget to hit the bell to be updated and more. So you're asking yourself, what's this video guide all about? It's very simple. What starter Pokemon you should have on your team? And of course, uh, you should definitely uh, select. Now, uh, please note, I did uh, show briefly about the three starting Pokemon that you get to choose from from one of them. I'll have uh, decent substitutes to uh, very good substitutes. Now, some I will evolve up to a certain level. I say 20 through 24, and that's about it. Other than that, now, most of these Pokemon are great for starting out. It'll help you out getting through uh, some of the encounters you will uh, face, like gym leaders, team star uh, leaders, and of course the uh, Titans. So let's go over the uh, Pokemons now. The first thing I'm going to go over is the three Pokemon that you pick at the start of the uh, game. So the uh, cat one, for instance, is the grass type. I do hear it's pretty uh, good at some instances, especially towards late game. And its final evolve is uh, excellent what I've seen of it. So if you want to go that route, that is fine. If uh, not, I have a substitute for that. I'll point out during the course of this guide. Now the water type that looks like a very cute duck, on the other hand, is uh, actually uh, great if you like water type starting out, of course. Now if you don't want to get the uh, cute duck, I have a, a very good substitute that could carry you, uh, I think, from uh, mid game to almost end game, depending on you if you uh, like this certain Pokemon. Last but not least, it's fire type. I personally use it. It's great starting out. It did well clearing out the uh, gym so far. And I'm going to say if uh, you don't want to use the fire type, then I have another substitute that is uh, great and wonderful uh, too. So stick with your uh, starter that you uh, pick until at least your mid game or even in some instances end game. So I'm going to go over the next Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Magikarp. It sucks in its current form. I did not seek the Magikarp in its current form because I'm actually seeking it in its evolved form. When you evolve it to level 20, it does become a very powerful water Pokemon that could carry you from, I think I heard, from halfway through the game. Even some people use it all the way through the uh, game. Me personally, I uh, use Gyaradosis through most of uh, Pokemon Sword. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the Evolve of the H Pokemon that I was truly going after instead of the Magic Card. So here we go.
This is the Pokemon I am going after in this first part of the guide. Once you evolve Magikarp, Geodosis is a very powerful water type Pokemon. You definitely want this beast on your team. It's not only water type, it's also flying. It could use Dragon abilities too. So if it's a Dragon versus Dragon fight, well, you have all the strengths and the weaknesses. Now, one thing you should definitely go after is Waterfall and any water abilities um, when you do get the Evolve because it is really powerful and nice. So let's go ahead and go over the next Pokemon, shall we? As for Pommy, the reason why I did get it, because it's electric. I definitely want his electric abilities and uh, more. This is a great starter if you're uh, looking for electric types. It's near your house. You can easily capture it. Really simple uh, to do so. I'd probably say, in fact, add it to your team uh, and then level up like crazy. There's a few times I actually uh, did use Pommy and it was very uh, useful. Let's uh, go ahead and do the uh, what happens when we evolve it at level 18. After getting Palm Me to level 18, it becomes Palm O. Now, it added one type fighting, so it gets all the strengths and weaknesses, so that's a good combination. It gets Arm Thrust, it starts out with user attacks with open palm. It can hit foes two to five times. If it's weak against fighting types, that is great. I'm going to ditch Thunder uh, Wave. I try it out, it sucks. Uh, Thunder Shock, I think it's pretty good. Still, it's a good uh, type for uh, electric and, of course, now fighting. Now I'm going to show you all on how to evolve Palmo to Palmoot. It's a very special way. So you're asking yourself, hey Finn, why are you running around like crazy? Well, the only way to evolve Palmo to Palmoot is very simple. Run around with your Pokemon out for a thousand steps. Once you do that, then level up your said Pokemon to a level, like any level for example. If you level it from, uh, just say you did this at level 20, level 21 after getting a thousand steps, right away it'll definitely evolve. So you know what? Let's uh, go ahead and uh, definitely skip to uh, that now.
This uh, final form upon me is Palmo. It is a very powerful not only electric but also fighting Pokemon. So definitely load it up with fighting and of course electric moves since it's really powerful. This one I probably say is mid game, uh, maybe or uh, definitely end game Pokemon. So let's go over the next one for the team. So let's uh, go ahead and talk about Fletchling and why I did get it. Even though it is a normal Pokemon type, it's also flying. Its terror type is flying too. I got it mainly for the flying reasons. Now, I thought that was good enough. However, its Evolve, on the other hand, is much better. So let me go ahead and explain on uh, that next. Once you get your Fletchling at level 17, it'll become Fletch Ender. There'll be some big differences. You obviously know that you're able to learn flame moves, which is uh, pretty good. This is a great substitute by way for the fire Pokemon if you did not chose it at the start of the game. The little alligator one that's very cute too. And I'm going to say this, it only uh, property you did lose was the normal type because the uh, normal type... It is strong against nothing, it's uh, weak against uh, fighting, which is a bad thing. So it's a good thing we got fire now and flying. Of course, uh, fire weaknesses, you'll get that too. Also get fire strengths too. Along with the flying, you still get strength and weaknesses. This is a great substitute for that. Still, it's like two in one. That's a good deal. Next up is Diglett. Normally, I show a map where it's at. However, at the start of the game, when you fall in this big Pokemon, that's where one Diglett is at. If you could capture Diglett, during that time, that is great. If not, you have to advance the story st some. And when you uh, get done with the school, you can go east. There's a whole bunch of diglets there. So let's go ahead and capture it.
Diglett at the start of the game is really good. First of all, it is a ground type. It has some nice attack moves to it. In fact, I actually used Diglett twice in two key battles. The second rival battle and the Stony Cliff Titan one. Yeah, Diglett excelled in that. And many times, uh, Diglett dodged those attacks if you did see both those videos. So, yeah, definitely go ahead and uh, get Diglett ASAP. If you cannot get it at the cave that I was in, then east of the skull, go ahead and grab the little guy. They're really common east in case you've missed uh, one location. I'll probably say it's Diglett's good until mid-game, and then you can find something else better for a ground type. So let's go ahead and talk about the next Pokemon. Notch Lie is a very good rock type Pokemon. You should definitely uh, get it ASAP. It's Evolve, it's better. There is a third Evolve I heard, but I hadn't got to that point yet. That might be mid to end game. So let's uh, go over its uh, Evolve form number one. Notch Lie is now Notch Stack. Yeah, I might have pronounced it wrong, but still, it is much more defensive. It has a lot more good moves. It is still a uh, rock type Pokemon, which is real nice. I recently used it against the uh, Flying Titan, which is very good.
This Pokemon is really good. You want to get this one ASAP. It is a fairy type Pokemon first. And the second type is Steel. It has Fairy Wind, Baby Eyes. It has a, a Drain ability that's Fairy, which is good. Metal Claws is really nice. It gets some more nice stuff later on. Let's go ahead and check out the Evolve form. At level 24, you get from Tinka Tink to Tinka Tough. And she gets some good abilities. Now she has a fighting move, which is Rock Slash, which is real nice. She still has the other ones, but looks like the third one's fighting, which is uh, pretty good for this uh, Pokemon. Let's get to the next one. Let's do go over Char Cadet. This is a uh, good substitute if you did not get the fire Pokemon, the cute little alligator one at the start. I'm going to say it's a fire Pokemon, obviously. It has two good fire moves. Flash fire, and there was another fire ability. What happens is if a foe hits this Pokemon with fire, then it toss a flame type move that is really powered up. I tried that, and yeah, it is devastating. Pretty nice to uh, have if you don't, have, like I said before, the fire croc. It evolves into what I heard is you have to have two items. One does fire, the other one does dark. Up to you on uh, that. And it's a pretty decent one too. You probably find something better or unless you really like it, your fire or dark, then definitely it's a big time keeper.
The reason being, I did get a match shift. It is a dark type. That was my main uh, goal. Star and Home Claws are very nice to start out with. And then it has a ghost type, which is Lick. I have not evolved it yet, unfortunately. But still, if there's any uh, folks that are weak to dark types, purely, I'll definitely uh, bring this one uh, in. So let's go over the next Pokemon on the list. Vionet is really a good bug type to start out with. It I heard it evolves into a much more powerful version of it. I'll uh, check it out down the line. I actually uh, used it during uh, part of a uh, team uh, star challenge. It was the uh, dark one, yeah, where you have to pick three Pokemon. It lagged behind a little bit, but still, I wanted a bug type. This was a good one to have. I'm going to definitely invest in it for the long game so I get its evolved form, which I heard is very uh, powerful. Definitely uh, get this one for your bug type. If you need a poison type too, uh, this one is it also. I did need a ghost type. I felt like uh, Ghastly was the uh, best one in the bunch early on to uh, definitely uh, get. Unfortunately, I have not evolved at the time of this recording. Even though Ghastly is at level 24, it might evolve more than that. I'll probably say stick with it for a while until you're uh, mid-game or uh, late-game until you find a better ghost type. But still, early on, worth uh, investing it into your uh, party.
If you didn't get the cat grass type at the start of the game, you didn't opt out for it. This is a great and wonderful substitute. It only evolves in one form, which is very powerful. It starts out with some pretty uh, decent grass moves, which is uh, good. You probably could get layer on better. Or better yet, evolve it into the uh, next form. So let's check out the evolve, shall we? After you get your shroomish to level 23, you get the Breloom. Now the Breloom is a grass type, also it adds fighting, so it gets all the strength and weaknesses too, which is really, very nice. I uh, kept Mac Punch, it was very powerful and nice to uh, have. I'm going to go ahead and definitely evolve this uh, one towards the end of the game. This is a great end game one if you do not have the uh, cat one from the very beginning of the game, which is also a grass type. That's about it for this Pokemon, so I'm going to go to the last one. This extremely rare and sometimes hard to catch Pokemon EV, you definitely want to get. Now, if you're able to uh, copy it somehow, you're by, I think it's breeding in this uh, game, go ahead and do so. Make a few copies, just trust me. Now, when you involve it, it has to have a certain item. Once you have that item, then guess what? It evolves into a form. For example, I think it's an Ice Stone. It evolves into an Ice type of Pokemon, which is uh, good. So you definitely, like I said before, have a few copies. Evolve it to Ice type, maybe bring an end game. Evolve it to Thunder. That's a nice alternative uh, too. That's about it for all the uh, Pokemon on this list. The Pokemon on this list is great for starting out. When I uh, do get a chance to find an Ice Stone for Eevee, I'll definitely have that from my Ice type. 
you uh, definitely want to trial and error these Pokemon, figure out their strength and weaknesses, use them for certain situations. Uh, they're very great early on. Now, if you get to mid-game, they start to taper off, then look for a newer Pokemon out there that's much better, so this way you can start building those teams too. Other than that, just have a blast with this team, and you'll uh, go far, at least lead to mid-game. Some of these Pokemon might even carry you towards the uh, end of the uh, game too. This is it for my Solid Star Pokemon's team for Pokemon Scarlet Violet video guide. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet guides just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a wonderful day or night and do enjoy the view.